Hello, Mr. Atrophy here. Another thing occurred to me this morning that is a difference between believers and skeptics. So this is going to be the next part in that series. And the difference is the level of understanding the two sides have on each other's points. The believer, when they believe in creationism, will often spend little or no time researching what the theory actually is. And we'll go more off of what people on their side say. This results in misinformation that they believe is true, like uh, we don't, uh, we didn't come from monkeys, so evolution is wrong. Um, dogs can't have non dogs. You know, s s stuff like that that they think disproves evolution when the only thing it really proves is that they don't have an understanding of evolution. While on the other side, a skeptic won't just study evolution, they'll study other related ideas like panspermia, abiogenesis, and creationism in an attempt to gain a level of understanding that's adequate to them. But most often the believer will latch on to little quips that they hear from other people. Uh, a lot of what I hear comes from Banana Man, Kirk Cameron, and people along those lines. And that's really kind of, I don't know if you want to call it disrespectful, it's kind of ignorant. My understanding, and a lot of the skeptics that I know, actually enjoy studying things when they're interested in something. They try to gain as much information about that thing as possible. And sometimes that includes coming to the realization that that thing that you thought was pretty cool is wrong. which happens and an intelligent logical person would be okay with that because oftentimes the thing that just proved you wrong will be cooler than the thing you originally thought was cool in the first place but when you're skeptical your mind is used to change you're used to being wrong or letting your understanding evolve gaining ideas and more complex theories. But the believer will actively deny himself that. The believer will not research evolution. They will ignore the facts that prove evolution is a fact. They will throw out what they think is the fact that there are no transitional species when there are hundreds of known transitional species. They will deny DNA and the massive amount of information we know about DNA and how that has worked on life on this planet. they will deny hundreds of years of accumulated information proving that species do evolve, things do change, things do become different forms over vast periods of time, but they deny that. and I'm not sure I understand why. If you were so sure that your idea of creation was correct, you should have no problem researching something like evolution because you know it's false. 
So why not try to understand the other side more? I can argue the Bible at a level that rivals most preachers and priests. I went to a Catholic school for a time, started questioning it about second grade and by fifth grade when they wanted, um, fourth grade when uh, confirmation was supposed to happen, I refused it and said no. After that, I studied many religions trying to find my path. Since I was a little kid, I have been interested in physics thanks to programs like NOVA. And that inspired me to when I see a something on TV, I would look into it more. And I was never satisfied with the way TV dumbed down things because the explanations were never good enough for me. So I always looked for more in-depth and more complex answers, which eventually led me to go to school for a mechanical engineering and physics, which unfortunately I was not able to finish. Those two things have become one. I find that my level of understanding in physics combined with my research and study in theology has combined to make a very strong atheist. I'm finding that the arguments that creationists have when trying to debate me rely on a lack of information, misinformation, misrepresentation, or flat-out lies. I have enough respect for different cultures, different ideas, and different peoples where when I am debating someone, I most of the time have at least a basic understanding of their ideas and the tenets of their belief. When I don't, ahead of time, I'll do a little bit of study, if I have the chance. So I respect your way enough to at least understand its basic concepts before you try and debate me or prove me wrong. Please, please have the same basic understanding of the things you're trying to prove wrong. Or else it just makes you look ignorant. And I will end this with a saying that I have had a lot of good responses to and some bad responses too. Fuck the faithful, thank the logical.